Hello class, in this tutorial, we will learn about solver. Solver is basically an add-in in Excel, which helps us in solving linear programming problems as well as non-linear programming problems. In this tutorial, we will learn about linear programming problems only. So your first step is to install this add-in in your Excel. How you can install it, just go to this file then select this options then select this add-ins then select this analysis tool pack go and select this solver add-in because first you have to uh, install this solver add-in so that you can use this function just simply select okay okay now you see under this data tab you will find this function solver Okay, after installing it, just come to your question. That is, ABC Limited produces three products, TV, washing machines, and refrigerators. The profit levels are given. That is 1,000 for TV. This is per unit. Washing machine is 2,000 and refrigerator is 3,000. After that, <coughs> labors are given. Labors are given in hours and the maximum availability, these are basically the constraints. So labor, this is 700 hours is the constraint. After that, materials, that is 5,000 units, overhead expenses. Okay. And you need to determine the product mix, which can maximize the profit of the firm. So before starting with this question, you have to just enter the values, whichever given in your question paper in your Excel. So profit level is 1,000. Washing machine is 2,000 and refrigerator is 3,000. Okay, these are the profits per unit. Labors are 5, 6 and 7. Materials are 15, 25 and 19. Overhead expenses is 500, 600, 700. The constraints you can write here, that is 700 hours for the labor, 5,000 units for the material and 1 lakh rupees for the overhead expenses. Okay. Now our question wants to determine that product mix which can maximize the profits level of the firm. So for that thing, we'll enter units as zero. We'll enter the value zero manually because after we start with solver tool we first have to enter these as zero because after selecting these cells solver will give us the number here okay which t number of units tv will sh should produce how much units of washing machine should be produced and how much units of refrigerator should be produced so first step we'll enter just manually zero zero here after this resource used under resource used we'll be using formulas which formula basically now i want to link everything with this unit why am i linking it because after solver get will solve these units everything will get calculated automatically so my purpose is to just reference all my cells with the units produced so equals to labor how we can calculate the labor? That will be labor of TV multiplied by units produced for TV. Labor of washing machine multiplied by numbers of mach washing machine produced. Similarly, 7 multiplied by number of units produced for refrigerators. And then we have to sum it up. So we'll use some product formula here. Some product. First array is labor, comma, second array is units. Okay, this is coming out to be zero. But after the equation gets solved, everything will get calculated automatically and we'll see how. Okay, now again for material, we'll use some product formula. This is the array one and this is the array two. Close. Then for overhead expenses, some product. This is the array one and this is the array to close okay 
after using this now we have to calculate the total profit and how we'll calculate the total profit we'll again use the sum product formula and we'll select the area of profit per unit and area of units produced okay now i have linked everything with this units that is 0 0 and 0 now we'll solve this problem so go to this solver and solver is asking for set objective so our objective is to maximize the profit so we'll select this cell that is g22 okay this is g22 our objective is maximization so we'll just simply check on max by changing variables so what are the variables which we are going to change we are going to change these numbers because we have to change these numbers because we want to calculate those number of units of tv washing machine and refrigerators that can give us the maximum profit so after selecting this we have to add the constraints so how will we will we add it first is labor so this is asking for labor so basically this cell that is resource used should be less than or equals to constraint is maximum availability add similarly the materials should be less than or equals to the constraint that is 5000 rupees add and now the third is overhead expenses should be less than or equals to the constraint that is this now do okay you are able to enter all these three constraints now you have to select simplex lp because these non linear and evolutionary are basically non linear programming problems and ours is linear programming simply select this now solve keep solver solution okay now see our solver is solving the equation by saying that we should produce only 100 units of refrigerator so that the profit level is maximum that is 3 lakhs okay so this is the solver which is giving us the answer that is we should not produce tv and washing machine at all we should produce refrigerators only okay here i want to just check whether this is the actual prof, uh, the maximum profit or not. Suppose I'm changing this to 50 and changing this to 50 and doing this zero. This is giving me just 1,50,000, which is definitely yes. Suppose I'm using everything I'm producing only on TV and I'm not producing anything, then it will give me only 1 lakh rupees. Suppose I'm producing everything in washing machines and not producing refrigerators, then it will give me only 2 lakh. So by any number, you can simply see that I'm not getting the maximum profit. So this solver has definitely given me the best units which I can produce to achieve the best profit. That is the maximum profit. So as per this, I should produce only 100 units of refrigerators and should not produce anything else. Okay.